thanks for watching. As you can see, um, I've got a USW Pro 24 PoE 24 port ubiquity switch. Um, unfortunately, I've noticed that the uh, fans are quite noisy in it, um, so I've decided to replace them with uh, Noctua fans. Um, this can be done and I'll show you how in this video. To clarify this is a USW Pro 24 PoE switch which has two fans inside and this is a second generation switch with the front touchscreen display. So first things first you need to remove two screws from each side of the switch, one here and one here in the centre. The other four are for the rack mount ears, so uh, obviously remove the rack mount ears first if you do have those fitted and then from the other side you need to remove the same again which is that screw and that screw there. From the back you need to also remove three screws which are here, here and here. Just to let you know that this one normally has a label stuck over it which you'll have to remove to uh, find the screw. So once you've removed all seven screws, three from the back and like I say two from each side, you can then Put this switch on a flat surface and then gently slide the top cover back about one to two centimeters which should release it and lift the top cover carefully off. There's no cables connected to the lid itself. Inside you will hopefully be able to see this plastic cover here and at the back there is the place where the two fans are located. So what you need to do is remove six screws from this plastic housing. There's one this side, one that side in the centre and then one at the back. The one with the cables you'll have to release the cable notch here to free the cables away as you can see so that you can get to the three screw housings at the side there. Hopefully see the screw housings one two three and then one two three then free plastic housing. Be careful when you remove the plastic housing not to catch it on any of the cables. So once you remove the plastic housing you should see that the two fans are housed in the actual plastic casing. So to free it completely you need to release the two fan header pins in the clips carefully. As you can see one's freed remove the second one you have to prise them prise the screwdriver in slightly to free the clip and then the connector should just lift off once you've done that you will need to cut the tape which is attached to the wiring loom which will then free the fan cables here which should then allow plastic housing with the original fans to be completely released. So remove the fans from the plastic housing by releasing the screws. Once you have released all eight screws from the fans there is also some tape inside the fan housing which can also be released. Fans should actually just release 
from the housing with gentle force like so take one of your Noctua fans which I'm using I'll put the uh, link below to the model numbers to let you know they are Noctua NF A4 X20 PWM fans they are not the FLX fans so you need to assemble the fan so that the direction of the airflow is actually going into the plastic housing as you can see the one fan is now being put in and they're quite tight in the fitting as you can see the second fan is now going into place the fans should be in place with the label facing into the plastic housing push quite firmly into place whilst making sure that the cable is pulled through once you have lined up the fans with the holes on the plastic housing then from the fittings that are included with the Noctua fans you need to screw them into the four holes of each fan on the housing to keep the fans in place. So just to clarify, in the plastic fan housing you should have two of the Noctua fans. The labels on the fans should be facing inside. The cables from the fans should be at the top left side of the fan housing so that the cables run through to inside plastic housing. So once you've done that you can carefully put through the wires like so to the slot where the wiring loom goes at the left hand side then carefully replace the plastic housing making sure that none of the wires get caught and the wires go through the plastic housing where you just threaded the fan wires through. So once you have carefully replaced the plastic fan housing here, you can put back the six screws and screw the fan housing back into place. So once you have replaced the plastic fan housing with all six screws in place, tightly secured you can then proceed to connect the fans up to the fan headers from one of the fan housings will actually reach to one of the connectors but you will actually then need to use the extension lead provided with a nocturnal fan to extend the cable here and that is part number N A dash e c1 connect one end of the extension lead onto the fan header on the circuit board and then use the other end to connect the extension lead to the second fan cable here replace the wiring loom back into the connector and then click cable clip into place then push the cables down to the side and then the cable for the fan with the extension lead can be tucked neatly to the side next to the wiry loom once you have done that you can then test by powering it up fans will take a moment to kick in um, while the switch boots up but once it's booted up the fans will start whirring but obviously not as much as the uh, original stock fans that were in the switch in the first place 
So then replace the top cover back on the switch once you have confirmed that the fans are working properly and replace the two screws either side. You need to replace the three screws at the back which are here and in the center there and then third and final one there. Then with all seven screws put back in place to secure the lid you're ready to connect the switch back into your network rack or cabinet or shelf wherever you have the switch located. Hopefully you will agree with me that the noise level in the switch is a lot better than what it was with the stock fans. Clarify again, the fans I'm using are the Noctua NF A4 X20 fans and they are the PWM model fans and you'll need two of these to uh, fit into the USW Pro 24 PoE second generation switches. Thanks for watching and uh, please do hit the subscribe button and also drop me a like which will be very helpful to the channel. Thanks very much.